How to switch banks. Change can be scary, especially when money is involved. If you're considering switching your bank, be sure you know the facts so you don't get lost in the shuffle. Why switch? You might be unhappy with the customer service at your current bank but chances are that you want to switch because you're moving to a place where your bank no longer has physical branches or a wide ATM network. If you want to switch because of dissatisfaction with your bank, the top issue that people cite is bank fees. No matter your reason for making the switch, these are the steps you should take to ensure the bank transition goes as smoothly as possible. 1. Compare. Research is the name of the game. If you're moving to a new place, ask people who live in the area where they do their banking and if they are happy with the service. Compare banks online based on the types of accounts you're hoping to open. Be sure to check what they can offer in terms of savings account rates and basic checking accounts. 2. Open automatic transactions. Now that you've chosen the right bank account for you, it's time to get your automatic transactions in order. Paycheck direct deposit and other payments into your account like unemployment or social security should be rerouted into your new bank account. Get your bills in order, subscriptions, donations, phone bills, etc. should all be switched over to your new bank account. This is a great opportunity to re-examine your spending and cancel unnecessary subscriptions and services. 3. Transfer most money out of the previous account. When making the big switch, it's important to leave enough money in your previous account to cover fees, and the wayward fee or subscription, you don't want to get handed an overdraft fee when you're trying to make a smooth transition. The transfer can happen through electronic payments, certified checks, or literally carrying cash over from one bank to the next. Each option has pros and cons and comes with its own set of fees and risks. It is important to do your research and read the fine print. A wire transfer is your best option for immediate results. 4. Close old account. Finally, out with the old and in with the new. It's time to close your old account. Once you've double and triple checked that all your automatic payments and bills have been transferred over, you're ready to close your account. The easiest way and sometimes the only way to close an old account is in person or over the phone. You should empty the remaining funds in the account and close it at the same time. If you empty the account without closing it, you might get hit with a bank fee then, because your account is empty, the bank will then stick you with an overdraft fee. Don't get stuck in a vicious cycle. When closing your account be aware of hidden fees. Perhaps when you opened the account initially, you were given some incentives, which the bank might want back now that you're closing the account. Read the fine print and be prepared to advocate for yourself.